हेलो गाइज टूडे इन दिस टूटोरियल आई विल भी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू ऑथेंटिकेट और क्लोन और अपडेट एग्जिस्टिंग गिट हब रेपोजिट्रीज यूजिंग कमांड लाइन यूजिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर कॉल्ड एज गिट सो एज यू नो इन गिट हब दे हैव डिसकन्टिन्यूड द सपोर्ट फॉर पासवर्ड ऑथेंटिकेशन इन अगस्त टू सो बेसिकली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यू कैन सर्च ऑन गूगल हेयर पासवर्ड ऑथेंटिकेशन गिट हब डिसकन्टिन्यूड so if you are trying to clone or uh, update your existing github repositories using command line using git you will see github has discontinued password authentication to the apis starting on november 13 2020 so they have discontinued on august 13 2021 so they have introduced a new authentication system which is called as github personal access token so if you just search on google personal access token so now i will be showing you in this tutorial step by step how to achieve that using git in windows or you can follow this tutorial for a linux mac system as well so git you need to install it so just search on git on google and first of all install it this is a free and open source command line software which allows you to perform more commands as compared to the actual command line that you see so you can see first of all i will show you the problem that you will face here so you can see this is my existing repository i need to update it so i will just follow the existing commands here git add dash so basically i am assuming that you have some knowledge of git so i will commit this git commit dash m this will be latest commit and whenever i will push it i will just write this command git push dash u origin master so basically after that it will ask me for my username please provide your username so i will provide my username which is gauti123456 after that it will ask me for the passwords so basically this is a standard way by which you have done the cloning part or you can existing part like authentication ever before so i will write my github password here sorry so basically after writing the password it will you will see support for password authentication was removed on august 13 2021 please use a personal access token instead you will see the same problem on your command line also so if you are searching it on youtube you are there at the right reason on this video i will solve this problem for you i will implement the personal access token so if you are interested in reading the blog post i have also uh, written the complete uh, text based article on my website the link will be there inside video description this is a text based article so i have illustrated with the help of images you will see this is a problem that you will face and you will see step by step instruction is given so if you are interested in uh, reading the article as well alongside with the video you can go to the video description link and now to get started guys i will uh, go into my projects directory i will close this window close all the windows here close all the command line windows and uh, i will go to the desktop directory go to the projects directory and i will start a new project here make a new directory which is uh, get new project i will go into this project here and i will open it inside visual studio code text editor i am assuming that you you have all uh, know what is visual studio code it's a famous text editor so many of you will use this text editor so we will take a very simple example i have a, a github account as well so for continuing on this video you should have a active github account here you can see various git uh, repositories i have here this is my account here uh, i can show my profile here which is gauti123456 so you should have a active github account where you can post your repositories you where you can clone as well so i will just show you how to do do this so let's suppose you have a repository that you want to clone so you can search for any let's suppose python so basically this is a repository that you want to clone here so you can just copy this like this copy it and uh, in order to clone a repository it is very simple so i will show you the both the ways git clone this is a com this is a command that is used here 
git clone after that it, it will clone it inside your directory here like this cloning into this one so now you can see this project is very much available to you so cloning is not very important you can clone it without using the personal access token but uh, let me uh, dis uh, uninstall from my system here this uh, and show you from scratch i think it should be very much useful i should go to control panel or i should uh, dis uh, uninstall this git command here so i will uninstall this git version which is available uninstall this and and install it once again so to it will be better for you to follow along so i will once again go to this my operating system is windows 64 bit so it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds it will install it i will now i will install this you will see it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds for installation so this way you will better understand so you will see would you like to install that folder anyway yes so additional icons on the desktop i want so next next so just stick to the default options you need not have to uh, pick any custom options so click next 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 so then it will install it inside your system so the very first time uh, when you install git you will be asked for github personal access token so that is why I am just uninstalling it and then installing it once again to better understand. So finish here. So now we need to launch git here. So it's very simple here. So what we want is that inside your desktop here you will see git folder will, which will be there. This is a git folder. So this is a git command line. Here you can have your git commands here. You can say git clone paste test address which is there so where it was the address here so you need to go to the repository link click copy and simply paste it cloning into this like this so this is very easy guys simply close it so if I go to my directory here and if I open this inside uh, file explorer so you will see get new project let me delete this and show to you once again wow how it can be done let me close it so once again if I open command line so once again if you will write git clone and followed by the address that's it so it will clone this and uh, it will be very much useful so cloning is very much important you can do cloning without <laughs> having any sort of authentication having so now we can delete this now we will uh, create a repository push it inside uh, github and then we will update it so this will be very much useful so now what we will do we will make a new repository inside github this will be very much useful so for that we will make a sample node.js project here so we will initialize the package.json file npm init dash y so this will create the empty package.json file and then we will install express server that's it so you will see it will install express inside our server here so just wait it is installing it so now it has installed it now we can open this inside visual studio code text editor so you will see inside package.json file this is the express dependency which is installed here now we can simply just say const express require express so i am just not coding it i am just uh, uh, starting a sample express app so i i know that you will be uh, knowing express what is it what is app.listen so we can listen it on port 5000 so we can say app is listening on so app is listening on port 5000 now we can test this app here whether it is running or not nodemon index.js so app is listening on port 5000 so this is a sample project guys that we want to publish to github so now in order to publish to github we need to have a git ignore file here 
which will inside this we can, we can just say ignore the node modules folder here that's it so this is very much mandatory file for if you are pushing the project to github you should create a dot git ignore file which will actually ignore the git node modules folder so they will not be uploaded to github so after that what we can do is that we can now create a new repository here inside uh, github so in go to your github account here and uh, click on uh, new click on new and uh, make your repository name here which is node test repository you can provide a description this is sample node app make sure that you select public or private so and then after that uh, you can just create repository and then it will uh, give you the in instructions here whatever command that you need to have so after that for the very first time you need to git in it so it will initialize the empty git repository here after that git add dash and after that we will commit this file git commit first commit so all these commands I have given in the video description link if you want to read the text block link you can follow all the commands here so all the files have been committed here lastly we need to uh, also add the original link here if you are doing it for the very first line this is a unique link of your repository so simply copy this command here paste it enter after that lastly we will have git push dash u origin master so that's it you can see that's it now you can see my app is published here uh, I think uh, in this scenario it it hasn't asked for me because I am there on my own system but if you are running it on a let's suppose you are running on a VPS you can see I am I have published this site here which is freemediatools.com so basically it is live there on the internet so basically this scenario is for the production level if you are running it live so locally if you want to develop this this will not be a problem but if you are on a VPS server like mine here you can see this is my IP address which is there so if you want to do this you want to go to your uh, github account here you need to have a personal token so I will show you how to do this personal token click on settings here inside this go to your developer settings here and then click on personal access token and here you will generate a new token here click generate new token and here you can give the title whatever you need to do all things related to github and also you can select the expiration date of your personal access token let me select 90 days and then you need to select the scope whichever scope you need to allow it so I will select all the scopes because this will be the personal access token which will be used for all the tasks like this click on generate token and now it will generate your token here so simply you can copy this access token like this and uh, you can also delete this token as well click on delete and uh, click the delete token I will delete it at the end of this video so you can't use this token here so after that now you have got the token what you need to do is that make sure you go to your uh, whatever place you are updating it and once again you need to git push dash your origin master write your username and instead of password you need to copy paste this access token right here simply copy paste it and press enter and all the changes will be reflected back to your original repository so I will not do it because this is a production level my site is there in live so you need to do the same thing simply copy paste the personal access token instead of password and simply enter and then your issue will be solved so thanks so much guys I have shown you step by step how to do personal access token authentication in git on github 
Thanks so much for watching this video. I will be seeing you in the next video.